Remington Core Locks, 308, 180 grain. Pretty popular load, round, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my dad pretty much swears by them. I've never really cared for them too much. I have killed deer with them uh, <clears throat> in different calibers. But I was never much for getting them to hold a pattern. Uh, grouping at least when I was target shooting with my 300 mag I could never get them to group with it uh, so anyway bring you over to the block my blocks turning yellow I don't know if I'm overcooking it. If it's just from the debris, don't mind some of this debris that's in there. A little bit of plywood. When the 762 shattered my plywood. Can't find any strainers locally here. Small town. No metal strainers that have a decent screen on them. Most of them all have some crazy big holes. That stuff will just fall through them anyway. Right there is about where it stopped. That's the end of the stopped with the actual the damage. The majority of the damage. That's where it stopped. That's the end of the 13 inch block. Pierced into the second block. It comes through. See a little bit of line there, it's a little low. Starts dropping down. And there's the bullet. Mushroom nice. Did get lots of penetration. Let's see, these are two 13 inch blocks. So that's coming in about 25 and a half. I like got leading edge is on 25 and a half. I know it never looks right in the camera, but when you're here looking at it straight down on it without the camera, you can see it better. And it's it's 25 and a half where that leading edge is. And what we have up here, it started to expand. Uh, right about the one inch mark, maybe an eighth inch before the one inch mark, right about one inches, and it really fragmented there and started to die down, and that is. Uh, there's fragments and it starts to die down. It's coming in at about 11 inches. And definitely has a nice wound track there. The damage path. But, if you've seen some of my other 308 videos, Winchester Power Max bonded and the Federal Power Shock uh, and those Russian Silver Bear soft points. Those were 140 grain. Uh, they had 
uh, I think, a little better of a damage track. This one is pretty wide here, looking at it from the side, up in here. Dies down and then it comes back again. Wound track's about the same overall length as the Power Max and the Silver Bears. I mean, I guess you could compare them. I think the, and in this particular test, I think this, <clears throat> uh, I would put it on the bottom of my list between those couple rounds. Uh, the Power Max and the Silver Bears had, they basically expanded on impact started expanding on impact and the track left was more uh, solid as compared to this one back to where it quit that's still a nice track it did get lost penetration I'm gonna see this one it's just that line can't really camera can't see through the bubbles uh, so I use that one for the second block. Most of your damage is all going to be in the first block with the rifles. So I get that bullet dug out of there. So definitely going to kill your deer, knock down your deer. I've done it, different calibers. Just not a, not I, my myself personally, I'm not a big fan of core logs. Okay, here's the bottom of the second block. I flipped this upside down. Uh, you can see the wound track here. Now this core log did get a lot more penetration than I say a lot lot more but it got more penetration than uh, the silver bear which I think come in at 16 inches or so and the uh, power max bonded I believe was like in the 18 inch area it gives you another view of it before I cut it out way okay so these were 180 grain and there's some little bit of silicone wrapped up here in the pedals My battery's dying. Camera doesn't want to focus. But it says one inch square the tip of that pedal sticking out there about three quarters of an inch
Uh, did good, but like I said, wouldn't be my first choice.